Hey Kim. And you had to bring her along with you. Well, um uh, Yeah, you had to bring her along. After all, unofficial dates with exes are a lot, huh? Oh babe, can you do me a favor? Can you just shut up and let me hear out first? Thank you. Um, all right, Kevin. I know we used to have it been in the past. And trust me, I am absolutely over that now. Just that time. Uh, Go on, we can hear you. So we want to say. Babe, are you stupid? Yeah. Just shut the fuck up, let me listen to her, okay? I was just trying to say something. Say what? I told you not to say anything. Yeah. I know how you guys then are Why did together. you break up with me? What? Yeah. Oh, we are heading somewhere now. Look, Teresa, please. This is not about your relationship with her, all right? I just need some answers. But you want my man now, right? After you're just trying to get back at what happened at Bootcamp. What are you saying? Bootcamp was years ago, okay? I'm over that now. But you're not over your ex. Hello? Excuse me? Uh, can, can we just get to it, please? Come here for a reason, so... Alright. As crazy as it may sound, I am in a great relationship now. And... And I don't want to ruin it. Oh. Hold up, let me get this straight. You called me here to advise you on your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> so, what's this guy? Who's he? He's just a regular guy. This is my boss. Your boss? <laughs> Mr. Reason Flair, the reason why your heart has been stolen, right? What's this guy like? Like, I don't know, where is he now? Your house? Where I was never welcomed. To. What are you saying? We both know that's a lie. I invited you to my house separately. You just never showed up. Okay, that's true. But the reason for that is because you kept on bitching and moaning about things I didn't care about. Oh, my mom this, my dad this, I want to. Nah, I didn't care about all of that. All I wanted to do was have fun and have sex. That explains me so over here. So that was why you left me? Because of sex? Sex and uh, you were really boring, you know, like, no, you were very, very good. You were not even spontaneous, like, I don't even understand how, I knew what you were going to do, when you were going to do it, and I could tell what you were going to eat, what you were going to do later, and uh, what are you doing? Anything else? In that no case, why are you taking notes? Take this note, be more like her. Why? Because she has tricks on her sleeves, like real tricks, like things you never imagined. The injection. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Four missed calls. Hey babe, you've been pretty distant of late and I'm starting to miss you. Our meeting is tomorrow and I need you to know how important this is to me, to us. You'll be presenting to Mr. Wellington and I need you to be ready and at your best. Daddy loves you. Hi. 
I will call Kevin this evening. What? Why? He's such a jerk. The only reason it's even lasted that long is because I thought I could fix him. I did steal Kevin from you, Kevin. Well, it looked like you did. We were actually dating before you guys knew each other. Well, I guess we we're just close. And I knew when he started seeing you, but I didn't see anything because you hated me so much and I didn't want it to look like I was after your man. I'll see you this evening. You tried to make things up with someone that hurt you so much. It made me realize how much of a jerk he is and I am. Sorry, I didn't get to upload this for what happened at the book camp. I shouldn't have put that such prank on you. I'm so sorry about that. I'm really sorry. I guess that is what I wanted to tell you. That night, I learned two things. You can change a man by your actions or be changed by Eve.